I seen you getting big ones, man. Yeah, let's just take this. Just a bunch of chunk bait. I think I got one. It's hard to tell. Oh, yep. This might be the biggest one, though. No matter what, I know this is going to be delicious because I just remember how much I used to like it. So here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. What's up guys, your boy Jay Fishy here. Uh, it was my birthday today and we went out and did some fishing earlier. And man, let's just say guys, we got some in the box. Uh, I wanted to go out fishing a little early today because uh, I got, you know, birthday stuff later and um, we're gonna do kind of like a cookout and I wanted to bring some fresh fish for the family. So uh, I was kind of like, let me go out, see if I can collect some fish for us. And uh, guys, let's just say we got some. Now, stay tuned to see how we did that, but uh, it's a little bit of a different uh, way of getting our fish today. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Uh, we're about to get on the water right now. About to take it back to uh, how the day started. But, yeah, let's get out there. Let's try with this little pump in the jig. All right, guys, let's get started with the adventure today. Uh, like I said, it was kind of like a little birthday adventure. I decided to just head out here uh, for a couple of hours. I didn't have too much time because, uh, you know, I have a couple of other plans to do, but I wanted to get us some fresh fish. So I started off trying with these uh, artificials. Uh, I had the little pompano jig and I also had the slam shady as always. I did have a frozen shrimp or dead shrimp um, that I had from another trip. So I was using that also Well, I was going to start using that. But first I wanted to throw these artificials while the morning bite was still around. And uh, we want I just wanted to see if something was uh, kind of moving and Really, I had no luck on this pompano jig, no bites. That's not surprising to me. For some reason, I haven't had any luck with that rig at this area at all. So maybe they just don't like it. But eventually, as always, I decided to pull out the Slam Shady. And uh, hey, it got us our first fish, guys. Dude, like I said, it's real hard for me to cast with my GoPro on. <laughs> I have a hard time doing that. Guys, I got something, I think. Yep, got something. Finally. What do you got What is this? <laughs> Guys, look at that little baby jack. It must be blowing up here now. All right, buddy, I'll get you back in there. Let's go. <laughs> if you guys remember, this is what a, I was catching a long time ago here. This is where actually I caught my first little jack. Look at that, guys. Little tiny baby jack. <laughs> they must be blowing up right now on the bait or something. Get out of here. Let's get back in there. That was fun. <laughs> you see how small that jack is and he ate this uh, Slam Shady. All right. Well, we got the skunk off the boat. Not the targeted species. But hey. hey yeah, there you have it, guys. However, uh, that was really the only... Uh, thing i caught on this artificial i kept casting in that same area because i was seeing those jack blow up but uh looking at the size of that jack i'm pretty sure he was schooled up with a bunch of small ones so i think they were just pecking at it and they weren't able to uh, actually get it in their mouth because i kept uh reeling up the slam shady and as you guys are going to see here it kept looking like they were trying to bite it but you know obviously you can tell it's kind of signs of a small fish or else they would have got hooked so that was pretty much the only thing we found on these artificials. But while I was fishing with these, uh, I kind of noticed that somebody pulled up on their boat right by the seawall. And they, it looked like they were casting out uh, greenback. And guys, uh, I just kept seeing them hook up back and back to back on a snapper. So I kind of told myself, you know what? Let's put these artificials away and uh, get the shrimp out and see if we can get them. As you guys are going to see in this clip right here, this is the guy who was fishing and catching the snapper. He's right up there in the top right hand corner. So as you guys can tell, he wasn't too far away from where uh, I could probably cast. So I just started casting my uh, shrimp here along the spot where I was at because, you know, I was basically telling myself they might just be uh, kind of stacked up along the whole wall. Because you guys can tell, like I said, he wasn't too far. And if I went down there to that beach area, I could probably cast where he was. But uh, I was waiting for him to either move or leave. And uh, eventually he finally decided, I guess it was time to go. And uh, guys, here he is right there. Let's just say I did not expect him to do this at all. <laughs> the 
this is the one bad thing right now you know i waited till the this time to start fishing this wall but there's a lot of boat traffic <laughs> you <laughs> i seen you <laughs> what's that <laughs> I think this guy's giving us something easy. I seen you getting big ones, man. Sure, what do you got? Oh, yeah, man. I seen you were killing it. Yeah, I see them. They're really nice. That's what I'm trying to get, but you know, it's kind of hard. <laughs> you got to put it in? Yeah, I got a cooler. Oh man, I appreciate that. That's what I, I'm hoping that they're on this side, but they're probably not because your side's the deeper one. Yeah. You got bait too? Yeah. What, what do you got? Yeah, I got my white bait. Sure. <laughs> it don't matter, honestly, dude. Just throw them in there now. Okay. I really appreciate it, man. I was throwing my cast net here, but I didn't get nothing. Man, I really appreciate it, dude. You're the man. <laughs> Yeah, I catch those every day, all the time. Hey, yeah, man, I really appreciate it. All right, guys, look at that. Well, we got lunch and we got bait. Sweet. Man, shout out to that guy. Look at these snapper, guys. This is what I'm hunting for here. This is why I tell you, they are here. Oh, yeah. Sweet, guys. That guy is awesome. All right. Well, I almost feel like I don't have a fish now, but I do. <laughs> Let's see. He said he put some live, little live pilchards in here too. So, man, guys, I won't lie to you. That's the last thing I expected that guy to do. Well, it looks like those are just gonna be chunk bait because I don't see them. Uh, they're not really kicking anymore. Sweet. <laughs> man you see guys some people are still awesome you know it's like that guy said he catches them out here oh no I went over the wall <laughs> I'm assuming he catches so many snapper he probably has a freezer full so he just stopped by and gave me some bait and some snapper awesome I will say I'd like to catch one of my own so Let's see, guys. Hopefully, we get lucky. Oh, I just had a really nice bite. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't even know what to use now, guys. The shrimp or the uh, cup bait or a hole. Let's try a whole dead one. Now, you know what? I'm going to chunk them. more boat traffic I had a really nice bite though so hopefully that's a snapper and we can get one and there you have it guys man it was so cool for that to happen especially on my birthday it made me feel like you know it was pretty much my birthday gift from the fishing gods you know and fortunately that uh very uh, kind fisherman as well who uh like i said probably was seeing me struggle the whole morning here trying to fish for something and i wasn't catching anything and i kept looking at him like dang he's hooking up back to back but uh yeah, guys, so we decided just to grab a couple of uh, those uh, greenback and chunk them up. And I just took like a handful of uh, chunk bait and I just kind of was walk going to walk the whole beach and cast it everywhere. Uh, as you guys can see here, I'm a little closer to where that fisherman was. Unfortunately, though, I still couldn't get a bite. So I just kept moving around trying to find something. And uh, guys, finally, we uh, ended up catching a fish. Unfortunately, it wasn't a targeted species, but hey, 
at least it was finally a fish. <laughs> I probably have too long of a leader, honestly, but at this point, that's retied like 10 times. I'm not really looking to retie it again. I stepped up my chunk bait. Oh, it's okay. Let's let that sit, hopefully. Yeah, see now the current's starting to drift me away too. That's the one thing I was worried about. Once that starts happening, guys, it's pretty much over because it's not, it won't sit on the wall anymore. What the heck is that? Guys, I got a fish coming up. What in the world did I get? What? <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> well, we got something. Ladyfish ate that chunk coming up. That's crazy. You know, if I didn't have a lot of bait, you would be a perfect bait here to just chunk up and cut out. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> we got something. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, man. Something ate the chunk bait. They're out there, guys. <laughs> I really thought that was going to end up being a needlefish. I thought I was going to get that up and it was going to be a needlefish that actually got the hook. Yeah, see, it was not a good idea to uh, leave this chunk bait out here in the uh, sun. I should have put it up. Now it's super uh, soggy-ish. Man, I don't know what's up with my drag. That lady fish didn't take no drag. Normally they get a little bit of drag. Must have just been a... All right. <laughs> Not the targeted species, but can't complain, guys. I cannot complain. Fish is a fish. It sucks because, like I said, I know that they're out there, guys. You know, like I said, that guy, he he he, he was casting where I I can cast myself, and he was getting them. So they are here. I just have to throw it in the right spot for them. And like I said, I've been out here now probably a good four or five hours, so it's getting hot, as you guys can imagine. So. Sometimes you gotta twitch your uh, your frozen bait or cup bait a little, get them enticed on it. Guys, I got something. What is that? Oh, it's coming up. What is it? Come on, buddy. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, it's a little freaking uh, jack. Guys, these guys are kind of dangerous. <laughs> I think they're called yellowtail or something. They have this spike at the bottom. You gotta be real careful with these guys. Yeah, let me not touch this guy. He looks bloodied up too. Yeah, they got some spikes down here. I think this is what that is. Oh, there you go. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Get on back. Well, that might be what was eating it. That might be what was eating all my bait, actually. I know he dropped my shrimp somewhere here, but can't find it, so. Hey, that's three fish on the day, guys. And we got uh, dinner thanks to a uh, local fisherman here. I'll take that. <laughs> I was wondering why that fish was jumping up like that. You know, normally when they jump up like that, it's a ladyfish. But it looked a little too small to be a ladyfish.
But yeah, guys, rather than waste that chunk bait, not knowing if I'm going to catch something on it, I'm going to keep all of that and uh, freeze it. And you guys will see, I'm going to take it out somewhere else or maybe even come back with it. Because that's the other thing, guys. Like I said, today might not be the best day. Or... I think I got something else here. Yeah, hook him or not? I can't tell if he's running at me or... Oh, there it is, guys. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Targeted species. I told you guys, they're out here. Look at that. Come on. I knew I would get one. Let's go. Targeted species. Snapper. They're here, guys. They are here. We just have to uh, upgrade a little. Come on, buddy. Let it go. Upgrade. So the ones we got in the cooler. But there it is. Come on. Let's go, guys. Super pumped because they're here. Um, this spot, you know, it, I hear from a lot of people it's trash. But I tell you what, if I can come out and catch me some snapper, guys, I am A-OK -okay with that. Get out of here, buddy. Get bigger. Tell your uh, cousins, big cousins to bite. Don't hang out there too long. <laughs> Come on. Uh, super pumped. Let's go. Let's freaking go, guys. Like I said, that was a targeted species, and uh, we finally acquired it. Yeah, it was a very, very small one, but hey, that just shows me they're here. Not to mention the fishermen who uh, gave me the other ones. So, yeah, let's keep trying. Uh, we got a lot more. Uh, I don't want to spend too much more time here because it's really hot but uh i'm gonna give it my all for about another hour maybe and uh use up some of the baits i don't want to use up too many because i want to come on a day when the bite is better maybe in the afternoon or something but let's keep trying maybe we can get ourselves one of our own keepers but let's just say we got uh dinner in the box and we're gonna have some snapper later oh look at this big manatee coming up right here <laughs> let's see if the manatee brings you some luck Oh, yep, I'm getting bit bites. <laughs> I got him with the manatee right here. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to watch out for the manatee now. Oh, it just turned into a way better fish, too. Whoa, what do we got? Guys, what is this? Something nice. I can't tell. Oh, it's just one of those little jacks. Dang it, I must have... Yep, I side hooked him. I ain't touching you, buddy. Sorry about that. Calm down and I'll get the hook out of you. I think you're still good. Uh, maybe not. Sorry, buddy. Line out? No, I'm good. <laughs> Guys, I'm so surprised that there's fish in here. This water is so hot. I mean, it might just be because right here it's by the shore. The thing is, these little fish are biting fast. I have to keep, I almost have to like jig the hook. So, I got one. I told you guys. Oh, it's coming up. What do we got here? Might be something different, guys. Oh, what is this? No, oh, it's just another one of those little things, isn't it? Yep. They're getting bigger though. <laughs> Man, I don't like these things. Oh. I wish you'd get off of there by yourself. It'd be a lot nicer, but I know you ain't going to. If we keep catching these, I might just give up, guys. They might have uh, outnumbered the snapper out there now. Get out of here, buddy. I forget what people call those. If y'all know in the comments, let me know. I think it's thorn bellies though. Thorn bellies or like skipjack, something like that. I always get those little jack species confused. They're thick out there now though, which I don't like because that's not what I want to keep catching. So if I hook up on another one of those, um, I will probably just call it. Might be too hot for any other kind of fish to be around. Cause this feels like a nice fish. Oh, did he get off? Dang it, I think he got off. Oh no. What is it? Oh, look at that, guys. 
<laughs> they're still around then this is exactly what i used to catch out here all the time you guys go back on my old vids you'll see them look at that guys such a beautiful fish oh dang it okay you're going back <laughs> get out of here buddy sorry about that i believe that's a lane let me know down in the comments if it ain't and i believe that is a lane snapper so hey there it is guys another snapper uh different one this time this is so fun guys it's such fun fishing like i said if it wasn't for those little skipjacks i'd probably do this until i ran out of shrimp but uh i'm just not i don't like catching those skipjacks or whatever you call them because like i said i've heard about them and they do hurt if you get pricked so last thing i want to do is keep catching them and end up getting pricked or something but for the meantime we'll keep fishing and that we sure did we just kept throwing chunk baits out guys and uh just hoping for more snappers you guys can tell i actually got two uh, species of snapper already the uh, mangrove which was the targeted one and the lane snapper which i used to come out here and catch a lot of those tiny ones uh doing the same exact thing i'm doing now but out of nowhere one day uh, i started catching the bigger mangrove and after that is kind of when i decided to keep coming out here for snapper and then they, they kind of left. I uh, kind of heard that they leave, I guess, for certain uh, seasons, you know, and then they come back inshore. But right now, it seems like they're back. I haven't had the fortune of catching myself them, but you guys seen, like I said, I pointed out exactly where that guy was fishing. It's literally on the seawall. He just pulled his boat up to it. Obviously, he has a better angle for catching them, but, you know, we're still going to try, guys, and I know we're going to do it eventually. So, yeah, I just kept catching these little uh, jacks that, uh, like I said, guys, they're still fun. However, you know, after catching so many of them, I told myself I'm in a sense kind of wasting my cup bait when I can come back with it and see if we can hook up on some keeper snapper, you know, or at least some more snapper because I would have been happy if I would have been catching at least some of those tiny snappers over and over. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, this was all we were pretty much catching. So I decided to pack it up and get out of here. Right, guys. Well, whew, it is a hot day out here. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm trying to hide in some shade now just to do this little uh, cut. But yeah, we're going to head back to the house now. You guys seen it. Came out here. Had so much fun. It was a blast coming out here and uh, just catching fish, you know. Like I said, it weren't the best species for the most part other than the snapper. But uh, hey, we caught some fish, guys. So yeah, let's uh, take it back to the house now. And we're going to see how we're going to cook them. I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be cook uh, frying these guys outside. So we got the uh, snapper here. Basically, I just... Uh, took the, the uh, uh took the scales off and gutted them out cleaned them out i'm just gonna put some of the uh chef pauper domes so that's a little too much i'm not gonna put too too much now just rub it in just to give it a little bit of seasoning because basically i'm gonna be deep frying them whole and uh they're like pan frying slash deep fry i love eating uh snappers whole guys especially these small ones I don't know, I know, it's, sometimes it's a hassle, but uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys, just some Chef Pauper Domes. All right, guys, let's drop some oil in here. And he's going to go for a little swim in the oil. <laughs> Be a little careful here. There we go. Oh man, guys, it smells so good. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just throwing some oil on this side for now. Um, and yeah, I didn't say it, but I'm pretty much enjoying this uh, with the family today. I had a couple of other fish in the freezer um, from other trips, and then, you know, I got these. So basically, we're just going to have a big old fish fry. Uh, thanks to that uh, local fisherman who just, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he's seen me out there struggling for a few hours and he was like you know what <laughs> let me go over there because i probably said it in a video but i could see him catching the snapper back to back he was killing it on that point there so hey it's just once once again it's just showing signs of life at that area and um you know yeah it's in a, a couple of spots where it's a little hard for you to get there from the land uh cast there but it's not impossible so next time i'll be doing you know a couple of things that he told me to do and trying to get where uh where he was casting at because again the fish are there guys you just have to get close to them with a bait and uh yeah let's uh let this guy keep cooking in here taking a hot shower in this oil <laughs> i'm gonna keep basting it on there a little like this and uh guys i tell you what this smells so good super fresh too it was, this fish was caught earlier today when it was swimming uh, about you know a few hours ago maybe but it was on ice the whole time 
yeah let's uh let it keep cooking and uh, i'll check in with you guys when i'm flipping them over flip it real quick oh yeah look at that guys Whew, that looks delicious i'll get it back on the fire <laughs> it uh the skin stuck a little to the pan which i knew would happen you know that always does happen but uh hey you guys can see the meat looks nice white and flaky there still got some of the skin on there and yeah guys now it's just to let it um pretty much cook on this side the same way and uh i'll uh, get back to you guys when it's ready to eat all right guys well there it is whole snapper uh pretty much you know it's it's pretty much a deep fry but it's a little bit of a pan fry kind of thing boom <laughs> all right guys well like i said we're gonna keep this outside uh we're cooking outside so hey might as well do a little taste test outside and uh yeah like i said the only thing was um you know obviously the skin pretty much stuck to the uh the pan but hey nothing wrong with that guys uh all we all we really care for is this meat ain't it <laughs> so yeah let's just uh, take off a quick piece here like i said i'm basically just gonna do a little taste test for you guys and uh i'm gonna go back inside and enjoy the uh family time we're having today so yeah let's uh, see what this tastes like guys all right guys well here we go uh like i said snapper i haven't had snapper in a very long time now so uh you know no matter what i know this is gonna be delicious because i just remember how much i used to like it so here we go guys Mmm. Mmm. Man. Oh, wow. That is so good. Like I said, just like anything else that's fried, you know, the oil just gives it like a whole nother taste. Oh, man, that, that meat is so good. It's just so white, just so uh, flaky, uh, super, you know, it's pretty, um, it's not fishy at all. You guys know the fresher the fish, you know, the less fishy taste you're pretty much going to get off of it. But guys, that is some delicious stuff. Um, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to uh, kind of change it up a little. You know, normally I, you know, use the grill or whatever. But like I said, growing up, my parents always made fish this way whenever we'd have whole fish, like fresh fish, basically, if we would buy it at like a seafood market or something, because nobody in my family really ever fished. I'm literally the only person who probably ever uh, picked up a rod and reel like that and uh, is now, you know, fishing like, uh, you know, I'm trying to uh, get better and better at it, as you guys can tell. Like I said, snapper is one of my favorite uh, fish to catch and eat. It's so good. And it's just, uh, to me, it's such a... A thrill to catch them because they're so quick if you miss it like your bait is gone so you know it's kind of like one of those like you know you got to be fast and actually hook that fish um most of the time they're not going to really hang out with it in their mouth at least not from my um experience maybe they do sometimes but usually when i catch them it's a quick bite and you have to hook them so like i said it was a very toasty one but hey we did it guys uh we went out there and uh had a fun time like i said fortunately that fisherman gave us the fish and we're able to uh cook it and enjoy it because you know that's what i was going to do no matter what and uh yeah so again i didn't catch that fish but hey i'm going to here shortly so uh yeah guys i just wanted to say thanks for all the uh, support recently like i said you guys have helped my channel grow so so much and i really can't uh, say thanks enough times so i'm going to say it probably on every video but uh i really appreciate all the comments all the likes uh, all the uh, new subscribers welcome to the channel guys uh stay tuned for more uh content because this ain't stopping i tell you what even though it's, it's super hot out here in florida we're still going to get the job done guys or at least we i hope we are as much as i can because uh you know a lot of you guys have commented saying that you know you enjoy my content because it's very realistic and that's true you know i try to keep it as uh pretty much as true as i can you know i, I really care about my videos and the quality of them so you know I, I tend to you know make it an adventure no matter what and uh as you guys know we're always out there having fun so yeah guys um i just wanted to say i hope you guys have a blessed week i hope you guys have the best luck out there fishing remember guys always 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 stay positive keep them good vibes going um I upload twice a week on my channel, so I hope to catch you guys back here next time. But until then, guys, peace.